Ford is in panic mode, and it probably has to do with the fact that the government is going to be investigated by the RCMP. Back when the Greenbelt scandal first broke, people were calling for the resignation of the housing minister as well as the housing minister's chief of staff. Clark, the housing minister, has not yet resigned, but his chief of staff was forced to resign today. Coincidentally, it was announced around the same time that the OPP announced that they were going to have the RCMP investigate the Ford government. And while Doug Ford accepted his resignation, remember that Doug Ford at first did not want to fire this guy, and against the better judgment of all of those around him, he fought to keep this guy's job. But now the Ford government needs a fall guy. But all the other parties are still united in calling for Housing Minister Clark to also resign. Because it seems impossible that all this Greenbelt land swapping went through worth over $8 billion without either the Housing Minister or Doug Ford knowing about it. Which is why the OPP is offloading the criminal investigation to the RCMP, because they want to avoid a conflict of interest. Or at least the potential perception of one. Because a lot of people feel as though the OPP is under Doug Ford's thumb and he wouldn't get a fair investigation if they were the ones to do it. I'll be honest, I would have trusted the OPP to do this investigation fairly. Especially considering that back in January they said that its anti-rackets branch was working to determine whether or not there was evidence for the Greenbelt land swap being a crime. So they were looking into this way before the Auditor General's report was released. But now that the RCMP is taking over the investigation, it has become significantly more serious for Doug Ford. Hence why he probably forced the resignation of the Chief of Staff for the Housing Minister. This is going to be a big ongoing story that's going to keep evolving, so if you want to stay up to date, hit the follow button.